Welcome back, Wolfpack. Verlis here. Man, we all feel so gypped with Mega Flygon. <laughs> like, see right there. Also, I have Jenna today. We're going to be talking about Flygon, and she has a YouTube channel, so if you like this video and you think she's awesome, go check out her channel. Leave a sub. Going to be doing... She does strategy guides as well, battles, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Let's Play, and going to have some really good breeding guides, because she's kind of like my personal breeder. <laughs> Not like I'll that. say. Yeah, but, whoa, calm down. <laughs> Hey, no, no, you asked me to breed like 20 things for you, and I'll do that gladly because they were already on my list. And now I'm going to want to fly gone because I was thinking like, you know, we have physical, it has a higher attack, so we can look at that, and it gets a decent amount of coverage that we have fire punch, thunder punch, those are pretty much going to be some really good options for coverage. Earthquake for stab, and then crunch for extra coverage. Now, the interesting thing about Flygon that I see here is pretty much your item determines what nature you're running, or your nature determines what item you're running. Do you want to run Adamant and get more offenses? Well, then you're going to be locked into a Scarf. But if you run Timid, you can also choose a Scarf, or not sh Timid on the offense, you can run Jolly on the offense, and then you could just kind of go with a Life Orb from there. So it's kind of, do you want to have more speed, less attack from the Scarf, or less speed, more attack from the life orb, while still having a decent speed. Jolly with a 100 base, you're going to have some decent out speeds, but you're still going to be fairly susceptible to getting hit. And I think that's going to be the main theme for Flygon, even as we talk about the special side of Flygon, which you're going to cover. Yeah, well, actually, the funny thing about that was just, I was kind of looking through it, and I always saw everyone using the physical side, and I was just like, but the special side has so much coverage! You have dragon, ground, fire, grass, and if few other moves, but those are kind of the ones focused on, which was, I mean, you can kind of switch between either or with a bunch of these moves. Like Draco Meteor, some people might go with uh, Dragon Pulse because they don't like the, you know, need to switch out after having their special attack drop by two. And then you have Earth Power, which is a really decent ground move. It's like one of the only special ground moves, which is sad. Yeah, but I'm still, 90 base power is like right under Earthquake, so that's fine. Yeah, it's still upsetting though. We need more special ground moves. But, and then they have the next move, which was Giga Drain, which... I didn't know it had Giga Drain. Like, that's Tutor, and that caught me off guard. That's awesome. Really? Yeah, I didn't know it had Giga Drain. I mean, I, 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 I was actually really surprised when I found this out, too. But, I mean, it, it, it actually doesn't make that much sense now that I think about it. It's kind of weird. Yeah. I'll be honest. Well, I, I feel like you kind of look at Vibrava from, like, that insect standpoint. It makes more sense, but then, yeah. True... And then finally, you just had a flamethrower, or you could just put in fire blast or heat wave. It just kind of depends on what you really need. And I just, you know, full special attack, full speed, just going crazy offensive with it. And, you know, because I'm more of this doubles player, I'm not singles. I'm sorry. We know I the actually, feel. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm right there with you. God, I like thinking about all the cool doubles things. Yeah, so mainly just kind of keeping up with the Oras hype. You just pair it up with Prankster Murkrow and giving it Tailwind so it could just be this crazy, crazy thing that outspeeds everything and you could either go Specs or Life Orb with it, just depending on if you don't want to be locked in on a move or not. And then, of course, there's that thing that you mentioned, which I didn't know, which just <laughs> caught me off guard. Was yeah, that I saw actually... that on Serbia. I'm like, what? No. Just no. Apparently... No. Boom Burst is a move that Vibrava gets now, pre-evolution. Oh my god, That's it's That's excellent so evil. for doubles. It's evil! It's excellent. I don't think it's evil, I think it's excellent. Of course you think it's excellent. You think everything's excellent. Yeah, it's, it's excellent. So that's really nice to see. And then it, you can play it around with that. Like, you know, if you run uh, Protect on one of the sets, Protect, well, Prank Prankster Mokro is going to get that Tailwind off. And then you just open up with a Life Orb modest just super boom burst or heat wave because heat wave hits both pokemon yes that's that's definitely kind of where i wanted to go with it, but i kind of got sidetracked because boom burst why why is this a thing no then i was thinking that if you don't have like a prankster tailwind murkrow or any kind of prankster tailwind setup or any kind of tailwind setup whatever like, I was thinking you could use Bulldoze and kind of turn Flygon into a bulky support. And that's what this moveset we have here is, with the hit point investment, a little bit of speed, and a little bit of special attack. Now, Bulldoze, it's going to lower your opponent's uh, speed by one stage, which means they drop by about six, they drop to 66%, so they lose like 33% or whatever. And then I decided with my um, Jolly Na or Timid Nature, with all this speed investment, you're going to be able to outspeed, I think, base 125 Pokemon, because they get to 405 speed. So after one Bulldoze, you're outspeeding those Pokemon, and then I was thinking, now you're like a bulky support that can hit all Pokemon on the field. 
Boom Burst is going to do some good damage to your opponent with that special attack investment. Heat Wave is going to hit, hit both of your opponents pretty well. And then you just have the Bulldoze providing speed support. So if you have a Flying Pokemon, a Ghost to Pokemon, or Pokemon with Telepathy, they're going to have a lot of speed priority. You p pull them in for that extra damage, and then Flygon chipping damage with that Pokemon going for the sweep under that reduced speed, I think it can work out pretty well. Ooh, that's a good point. I actually hadn't thought about this. Gardevoir actually gets uh, Telepathy as a hidden ability. Hmm. So that first turn, you know, you keep Gardevoir on the field, you throw out the Bulldoze, it's not going to get hit, both opponents hit, you Mega Evolve Gardevoir, the turn that Flygon goes, or, yeah, you Mega Evolve into Protect or something maybe, then you have Flygon throw out a Boom Burst, and then when Gardevoir is ready to, t to attack, the opponents are so softened up, it'll be really just a quick finish off with Dazzling Gleam. Oh, this is making the gears in my head spin. Exactly, this is how my mind works when I'm coming up with Pokemon. I just haven't had anyone to talk about when I'm doing these strategies, but that's kind of the thought process. And then for the last set, it gets really fun. I saw <laughs> Endure and Flail in the egg moves, so I put two and two together. I was like, well, if we go with the Lychee Berry, you just throw out Endure, and then you hit level one, you hit one hit points, Lychee Berry is going to proc, and now you have a good amount of speed from a Jolly Nature and a very high attack that your attack's going to get boosted to about 450 at level 100. And now you have Fire Punch for coverage, Earthquake for stab, and Flail for 200 base power with that Lychee Berry and all that strength. It's an instant setup from the Endure. So I think that that's a really good idea. And if you don't think that that's strong enough, then you can kind of switch around. You can run with the Adamant Nature, and then you could go with a Salak Berry. And then that's going to boost your speed. So now you're going to be super insane on the speed with that close to 450 speed. And then still have really strong high, ba high base damage attacks from Flail and Earthquake. Boom. Fly gone. <laughs> like, we don't have the Mega, but we're still going to make it work. That's we, how have to. we have to. We have to. We have to. Well, then you go breed up some Flygons and use them in battles. And then the people that are watching this video can sub you and then watch those battles. And then maybe I'll use Flygon. <laughs> yeah. No, I already bred it. I just had to train it. Uh but soon, yeah. very soon. Soon. We got gypped on Mega Flygon, but we're still going to make it work. Hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed the video, and I hope you all have a nice day.